Hi, Rachel. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. Welcome to That's Interesting. What is interesting this week, Rach? Well, this week, I bought a new car. You did? I did. I took, like the, deja vu. I took the plunge. <laughs> this is like deja vu. <laughs> um, what kind of car did you get? What kind of car did you have and what kind of car did you get? I had a Toyota Sequoia. A 2003. And I had it since it was new. So Which I love V8 that thing. Yeah. It's a pretty big engine. It's I can big vehicle. tow everything and all that good stuff. And it was giant. And now I have a Mazda CX-5. Wow. Which is, I could probably fit the CX-5 in the Sequoia, <laughs> but... But, it, but you like it. But I do really like it. Do you have any idea what made you choose the Mazda? Um, the gas. Gas mileage. Okay. So, I get about double the gas mileage that I did in the Sequoia, and running those kids around makes a huge, huge difference. So, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying not going to the gas station all the time. One of the things women like to say is that I like my vehicle because I feel so safe and I'm so high up. Do you not feel like that anymore from going to Sequoia to CX-5? I'm just curious. It is. It's it's a little bit different. But what? But I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Because that is the biggest freakness I've ever thought in my life. I just feel safer. If you feel safer, you will be safer in just about anything you are in. So, it's all in your head. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I haven't seen, you know, cars flying out of nowhere and running into me. Right. That hasn't happened, so. Okay, I just wanted to verify that. But <laughs> the higher up you are, the safer you are. Not no. Sometimes. No. Now, I will say that when you're higher up like that, you can see, you know, three, four cars ahead of you and what's going on. And I don't have that anymore if there's a big giant truck in front of me. But you save more money at the gas tank. So that's what I care about. Okay. So whoever keeps raising the gas prices, that's who's at fault. That's First, Sequoia's, Toyota Sequoia sales going down. Yep. Damn Egypt. Egypt. <laughs> it's their fault for the last gas price. And there goes the 80s song of the week. What? Egyptian lover. <laughs> Or walk like an Egyptian. Was that 90s, though? I think I would much rather have walk like an Egyptian. The bangles were pretty hot back in the day. The bangles were awesome. Just that one was, was hotter for some reason. The one that the, was The like, lead singer. Yeah, she would like close her eyes and she'd look to the left. <laughs> You're picturing her right now. <laughs> But I mean, I but I know where I know it's just the thing. I can't I remember like, what her name was. I was probably like six or seven or eight years old, staring at MTV at that time. <laughs> they made overalls cool. I don't know about all that. They did. They were the ones who wore those overalls, and then one, uh, one strap, like unhooked. Mm. Hey, did you know that there's a catfish festival in St. Martinville? No. We did not either until we just found out, because apparently they just made a Facebook page, and they're building on likes as we speak. Oh, there you go. They got four likes in the last hour. Nice. <laughs> Although the catfish sort of looks like a frog. Which, the cat? I think the catfish looks like... Um, it's very those, happy. One of those weird-looking creatures from Star Wars. <laughs> like Jabba the Hutt? No, like, like, I can't, I don't know what they were called, but they were, like, red, and they had little eyes. Well, and I they, don't know about all that. Per, they, they gave you the perception that they were pretty smart. This catfish doesn't look very smart to me. No, it, it looks more like it's ready to party. <laughs> How does a catfish party? I don't know. <laughs> but I got a feeling he's about to get eaten at this <laughs> festival. So he better stop smiling. <laughs> so much. So much for your smiling ass catfish. Because <laughs> <laughs> humans are here. <laughs> We're coming to get you. Um, so when is that festival? It's looks like it's October. No. Take that back. 
the other really awesome festivals in October. This one is November 8th, 9th, and 10th. Okay. It's a three-day music and food festival. Music Sounds and food. Sounds familiar. Music and food here yes. in southern Louisiana? They're crazy. For what on earth? Thing. That never happens. I, I can't believe they're doing this. <laughs> no one eats and drinks here or listens to music. I literally cannot believe they're doing this. This is crazy. <laughs> These people are nuts. Out of control. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, and we're going to share this on the That's Interesting Facebook page, by the way. So even though we call them nuts, we're not because we're, we're, we're helping them try to get some likes and some awareness to the St. Martinville Catfish Festival because it's good for our economy. <laughs> not just Lafayette's economy. It's good for the economy. Acadiana economy? Acadiana economy. <laughs> it's not just Lafayette people. Remember that. Well, and now that I have my new car... I mm-hmm. can get there without having to fill my gas tank up five times. I just saw something that's, like, hilarious. What? Okay, you know how they have news feed, right? When you pull up something on on, on Facebook, it says recommended pages. Mm-hmm. Somebody is recommending the Ashy Agency to me. <laughs> What's the Ashy Agency? I don't know. Well, click on it. Find out. I'm thinking about sending them a bottle of lotion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm serious. Like that. That just makes me want to reach out and give them. Hey, here's some Luberderm. <laughs> okay, let's get off of that. Okay. <laughs> um, Speaking of Luberderm. Oh. Yeah, Anthony you, Weiner. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> is in the like, news okay, again. <laughs> this is why this works out so well because Kevin doesn't watch TV at all, <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. I never watch TV. I don't watch. I don't want anything to do with a TV <laughs> other than look at a computer screen. <laughs> and Rachel's glued to it like every day. <laughs> no, I watch the morning news. Which is I watch Good Morning America. Okay. While I make lunches for the kids, that's how it works. Okay, now what did Mr. Weiner do? Well, he disgraced himself and had to resign from Congress <laughs> because he was tweeting pictures of his <laughs> junk to young <laughs> women <laughs> who were working for him. Come on. Come on. That's he what was he did. Tweeting his Weiner. And, and texting. Excuse me, sexting. Oh my God. Let me get the terminology correct. And y'all voted for this clown. Well, they did in New York. He's a representative. He's a representative of New York. Yeah. Member of the House. Or used to be. Wow. Uh, so anyway, his wife... It sounds like Anthony Weiner is... It sounds like they sh- he should come out with his own Italian sausage. Anthony Weiner. Because <laughs> that's what it's... Uh, Anthony's predominantly like, kind of like an Italian name. and Weiner, I don't know where that's from. I don't know who's... Whole, uh, wh- 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 what nationality is Wiener? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but his uh, his wife mm-hmm. decided to stay with him. Again. Well, the first time, and apparently she's staying with him again, because he did it again. I mean, she's a freak, too. He did it again mm-hmm. since he was just, I mean, he lost his job. He was publicly humiliated. He still couldn't stop doing it. He either has a lot of money. No, she has a lot of money. Miss Weiner. Yeah, yes. That's why it doesn't make What's any Ms. sense. What's Weiner's maiden name? That's what I'm dying to know. I don't know. Her name is Huma something. Huma. Hum- mm-hmm. Okay. Huma I- I Abedin. I just think some weird story about this we're not knowing about. Huma Abedin. I don't think we know the whole story here. She was a Hillary Clinton advisor. Okay. <laughs> and her husband kind of had a wiener problem, too. Right. So they had dinner, and apparently Hillary told her to stick around. So basically the Clintons and the wieners are swingers. <laughs> I, maybe that would help the situation <laughs> if they just... Hey, are you swinging with the, the, the Clintons this weekend? <laughs> no, we're going to the wieners. Although I'm thinking... Anthony Weiner would get the raw end of that deal because he'd end up with Hillary. What? Hey, Hillary might be a freak. She might be, but 
in a pantsuit. Could you imagine? No. Could you imagine? <laughs> no, and I, I don't want walking, to. Going to the White House, and there's a damn key party at the White House, and all of a sudden, Hillary's there. <laughs> <laughs> This is 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 this really happening right now? This is so funny. I'm serious. Could you imagine? No. I would never. I would never. I mean, like really though, like like what? Okay, Anthony Weiner. He he's bad because he texts genital pictures. I can't believe. Well, I'm, you know, it is what it you is. You know what's really weird? I bet you the dude's got like 50 million followers now. Because they all want to see <laughs> Just, Anthony's wiener. Well, I don't think he, like, publicly did it. I think he private messaged these. Well, how did it end up on Twitter? Because you can do those direct messages through Twitter. Okay. So then the girl who he sent them to sent them to the media. Come on. Yeah. Because I'm sure the inside of the office was even worse. Right? What do you mean? Like, could you imagine working with Anthony Weiner? Well... Could you imagine being a... a, a, a I, oh, what congressman do you work for? Mr. Weiner? And I have pictures to you prove really it. didn't like her job <laughs> at all. I have pictures to prove it. <laughs> Watch, I'll tweet them. Mm-hmm. So... Now Monica Lewinsky and... Anthony Weiner's little lady. Can you believe Monica Lewinsky just turned 40? <laughs> I can't believe anything anymore. If you bring anything to me, I go, okay. I met her. You did? Right after the whole thing blew up, I was working at Saks Fifth Avenue in San Francisco. With her, with her handbag and on? She, no, no, this is way before. I mean, this is literally right after the story blew up. And she comes walking in, and we all just wanted to rip her a new one, saying... Seriously, you have an affair with the president and all you can show for it is a dirty dress? You didn't get anything out of that? No jewelry? No nothing? Dumbass. She got, she got a handbag on. <laughs> so? <laughs> and got to go on... What was that show? This is the something show. <laughs> this is the name of my show. He used to be like... He used to be from Canada. He had a goatee. Who? Tom Green. The Tom Green oh. show. You were on the Tom Green show. Yeah, and it was so exciting you could barely even remember his name. <laughs> I remembered it briefly. I know, but she didn't get anything out of the affair. She saw the inside of the Oval Office's bathroom. I think, I think that's what that, she got from it. I mean, that's probably something where, you know, a girl is excited because she could see some naked parts of the president. I mean, so that's just like a weird fetish for some women, I guess. Yeah, okay. Like, there's a bunch of women right now, like, secretly, like, plotting, seeing Obama's weenie. <laughs> I, I'm sure they're out there. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sure they're out there, trust me. Uh, they're called the Obama Weenie Foundation. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. It's true. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, it happens all the time. I mean, I'm sure George Washington probably had his freak. Well, I'm sure. I mean, everybody has their groupies. Everybody has their groupies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So every time you pull out a, a five, think of Lincoln. <laughs> Making. <laughs> no. Lincoln. No, I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to think about it. A, Lincoln gets some steak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even want to go That's there. That's horrible. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. That's just We're, we're just rhyming things. Here. <laughs> every time I pull out a five, though, I'm going to go, Lincoln for you. Lincoln's ready. <laughs> Which brings me to another product that you brought up earlier to me. Uh, what? Swamp nuts. Swamp nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a store. Where were you? I, I was actually at the Shell Station on the corner of, um, I don't know what that's called. It's the Thruway in University, where, where, going, like, where you'd be going towards the airport. Okay, yeah, yeah. I went there. 
on the left side of the counter there are a product called Swamp Nuts. Which, seriously, the guy standing that, next to me, I, that just, actually, I didn't even notice it. How can first. you want to put that in your mouth and chew? The guy standing next to me looks at me and goes, Hey, you ever seen Swamp Nuts? I went, there's a no, way. Sir, there's a way to start a I conversation. Haven't. But I will take a photo for the people online. <laughs> oh wait, you saw it and all you did was take a picture. You didn't grab a bag and try no, it out. No. I What's didn't, wrong I with you? I, I was busy. You're I was busy. busy. I didn't. No one is too I mean, busy for swamp nuts. So, I wasn't expecting somebody to just bust out and go, "Hey, <laughs> you ever <laughs> seen a bag of swamp nuts? What is like, it?" What? If you go to the That's Interesting Facebook page, you'll see a bag of swamp nuts. But what are... It's a dollar it ninety nine bag of, I guess, boiled nuts. Oh, gross. I mean... I'm sorry. I think boiled peanuts are disgusting. God. That's what we should feed all prisoners. All the boiled peanut factories are going, these people are assholes. Oh, so, I'm sorry. But it's true. It's Well, you know, I mean... It's just another business, but uh, <laughs> everybody in Louisiana, they either put Cajun in front of their, their business name or after it or in the middle of it or something like that, you know, it just happens. Or Swamp. Yeah, I mean, I think the only one that I like personally is K. Jans because he's Cajun and his name is Jan. And it's located in Scott and he lives in Scott. What is it? It just makes sense. What? What is it? It's a place where you eat. Oh, well, I've never, I didn't know. Really? Uh-uh, I've never been there. K, K I mean, Jan's like, but, restaurant? But it, makes, it makes sense. Well, okay. You know? <laughs> to everybody else that don't get it, they go and then they get it more. I get that. I, I don't get swamp nuts. That does not sound appealing at all. I don't want to get swamp nuts. <laughs> that, it does. It sounds like it's it sounds, a disease you're going to need a shot like for. It something bad, like some, <laughs> some gangrene on the balls. Some gangrene on the, on the, on the scrotal They got a cream area. for that. <laughs> um, sir, you have swamp, <laughs> swamp nuts. I'm sorry to tell you. And you're going to have to tell all your partners <laughs> that you have swamp nuts. <laughs> Could you imagine that post on Facebook? <laughs> You Anyone you've had like sex with in the last six months, you need to tell them. Anyone you've came in contact with the last six months, you need to let them know you have swamp nuts. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> swamp nuts are very contagious. <laughs> Anyone that these nuts have slapped on, you're going to catch something, sir. <laughs> tell your dry cleaner, too. <laughs> yeah, let your dry cleaner know. But if they're dry cleaning their underwear, that's, like, weird. <laughs> right? I mean, you want light starch on that, sir? <laughs> yeah, very light. Where are you serious? <laughs> Actually, no starch since I have swamp nuts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that's how this started. I got starch on my sc my scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you caught it. Yeah, I got starch on my balls, and it gave me swamp nuts. <laughs> I want to see that commercial. I want to see the the prescription medicine. That actually gets rid of swamp nuts and see that. I, I want to hear the side I was just going to say, nuts. I want to hear the side effects of the medication for swamp nuts. I want to see the guy that's so happy jumping on the beach in circles with his arms <laughs> spread out <laughs> because he just found out he got swamp nuts after all this time of wondering what it was. They finally so, diagnosed him properly yeah, with swamp fun. nuts. And at the end, if you have been diagnosed with swamp nuts, <laughs> then you may deal with these side effects. And what one of them is... <laughs> I'm not saying... <laughs> <laughs> we have completely derailed. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, this is going to be gross. So if, you, if, you are, if you are freaked out heavily, I suggest that you go into the next little area. Can I leave? One of, the, one of these days, <laughs> one, one day... I, my friend, I don't watch TV, so like people come up to me all the time, and it's weird. It's almost like they've drank too much, or they've, they've smoked something that was not good for them, and they were high or something, and then all of a sudden I get these like weird thoughts, these weird creative thoughts. This guy comes up to me one day, he goes, what is the worst side effect you've ever seen on a prescription medication? <laughs> 
He goes, I know one. And I go, what is it? He says, anal seepage. Yes. I've heard that. Listen, my son, who is 10 years old, is he's not happy wa- right listen, now. is watching but TV. He, he's, he's in this in this conversation. I'm scared of where this goes. <laughs> well, no. He's watching okay. TV and he's laughing because he's watching these stupid ads for prescription medications. He's like, if you heard about these side effects, why would you take that? I, I think I would much rather have the, the problem. Problems. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, some of the side effects are really weird. Between anal seepage and death, <laughs> I'll take the swamp nuts. You, yeah, you, you could have... A higher increased rating of, of heart attack or stroke. Exactly. I mean, when, you, when you get that as a side effect, you might want to think about it. <laughs> it's a little weird. Very strange. Yeah. And don't take ibuprofen while you're any, on any of those medications, by the way. Oh, yeah. You have to check for all those drug mix side effects. Then there's just a whole another list of side effects that you get. Just don't take anything. Chances are, if... Uh, if they have side effects that are pretty high, honestly, ibuprofen will probably give you another adverse side effect from that medication. Okay, let's go into something else. So I saw that picture of that Lamborghini you posted. It all chromed out. It looks like liquid metal. It's pretty cool. I, I, I know, but like really, do you have that much money to burn? Apparently. Like well, if you're really, already you spending... How hot that car would be? Huh? How hot that car would be in, in in our state? Yeah. So like turn could, the AC people on. Would, people would fry eggs and all kinds <laughs> of stuff. It would either be really hot for the, I mean, like your ne- your ne- your next door to this car, right, in, in on Johnston Street, a, a chrome car. Okay, but answer me this because I seriously yourself, don't know. And you're fixing people fixing your hair. But if you if you chrome something, does it add a lot of weight? Well, yeah. Well, then that car is, I mean. It already gets eight miles to the gallon. It probably gets two. Well, no, but I don't know how much it would make it, it would slow it down, wouldn't it? Well, today, I'm sure people figure that out. How they they probably have some kind of weird chrome stuff that's like, doesn't weigh anything. I mean, you never know about that. But I'm sure the chrome is not light. Yeah, I, w- I wonder how much game. more how much weight it would add to that car, since it's the entire car. I have so many millions of dollars in the bank that I am going to chrome <laughs> my car. That already gets eight miles to the gallon, and then I'll get six. Well, at that point, if if you have that I much money to spend on a car, you don't care how much you're spending in gas. I, I mean, can only on. drive to the mall. <laughs> to the mall. <laughs> You it's and the I mall. Remember. Somehow the, you, <laughs> you always end up back at the mall. So I can drive around the mall 15 <laughs> times, and then I'll have to go put gas again. I, I don't think that maybe you're not so busy. I think you hang out at the mall no, I used an awful to when lot. I was a kid. And I, I guess that's a, a weird memory of the mall whenever I would go <laughs> like to the mall, and I would see people riding around the mall parking lot like over and over and over trying to pick up chicks at the mall parking lot. I, 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 that's like a weird memory of mine from being like 12 or 13, like watching that. Does that still happen? Do kids still go to the mall to hang out? I have no idea. That's how much I don't go to the mall. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> the last time I went to the food court, though, however, which was interesting, it took me like 20 minutes just to get to the front door because there were so many people paraded around outside I'm, and no one I know. was dancing. You don't ever make a circle without dancing in it, people. <laughs> <coughs> we were there not too long ago because I took the girls to build a bear, and we ended up having to eat at the food court, which really is, if you want to torture someone, take them to the food court. Because as soon as you get your food, then you have to battle someone for a table. It's like Hunger Games in there. Oh, I want to get one thing clear right now. My name is, my name is Kevin <laughs> St. <Saint> Marie. <laughs> I have my middle name named Joseph. My name is not Kevin Marie. Saint is not my middle name. <laughs> is that okay? Publicly state that. Feel better now? Even Lulu thinks my name is Kevin Marie. I know. I thought that was funny. Well, speaking of Lulu, I have a dear dude question. 
Let's go ahead and whip out your dude. <laughs> <laughs> and put it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Re- retweet it on Mr. Wiener. <laughs> I think that would be fun. You want to retweet Wiener? <laughs> no. I want to follow Mr. Wiener. I know. I mean, what, do, do you think that's not premeditated, like, honestly, if he still has a Twitter account? He, I'm sure he has a Twitter account, but he's not... He didn't put the picture on Twitter itself. He messaged it through Twitter. I don't know. That's like stupid. So the public couldn't see it, but the public ended up finding out about it. I would have to have this guy on my show if I was a big deal. <laughs> He'd be the first person I'd have on my show. To make fun of him? No, just to ask him what was he thinking. Like, really, what were you thinking, dude? Honestly. Well, I, but he's not the only one. It's not like he's the only guy well, on the planet. I know, but, but I don't his understand. Name is Wiener too. But I, I mean, don't understand why guys really need to send pictures of the junk anyway, as if that's a turn on to women. That is not a turn on. Well, every woman I ever meet that says something about that, they always say the same thing. They say the first time a guy does that, the first thing that they, the girl does is show it to fifteen of her friends. Yeah, and say, look what this douchebag sent to me. He sent me a picture of of a weevil. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one wants to see a picture of your junk. No one. <laughs> he sent me a picture of a weevil wobble. Exactly. No one needs that. The, 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 yo, oh God, the, I, I, I am too creative. Weevil wobble. Are you done now? I'm done. <laughs> okay, here's the question. One of my guy friends asked me on a date. From the beginning, I knew it wasn't going to go anywhere serious. But at the same time, I didn't want it to seem like I wasn't giving him a chance because he is an awesome guy. So we went on a couple of dates, and then he asked how I felt, and I told him I just wanted to be friends. Was it wrong of me to go out with him at all? She owes him 160 bucks. <laughs> You think it was 80 bucks a date? Probably more. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty lame. If you, uh, if question. you, uh, no, that one sucked. That one sucked. <laughs> They're, running They're running out of shit at Lulu. Well, no, there's some of these other questions. Either that are, or they need to hire us for some questions. No, some of, the, that, that no, one some of these other bad. questions are a little. Okay, my boyfriend tells his friends everything we do in bed while That's I'm in the room. Friend. That's not cool. (laughs) It gives me the heebie-jeebies to know his friends are visualizing me doing things. I've talked to him about it, but he thinks I'm dumb and continues to bear all for his buddies. No, no, he he needs to chill out. Like, really. Like, you don't do that. (laughs) Especially not with her in the room. I mean, really. That just means he's immature. I agree. I don't know if immaturity is the word. Oh, yeah. Immature, immature. Let him is date like someone. And word for stupid ass. Huh? Immature is like another word for stupid. Well, ass. yeah. Like really. Hey. Dude, no, but you can. But you immature, something. you can grow out of. You can learn and evolve from. Well, I mean, dumbass. Sometimes that that's just that's the state of your being, and you are never gonna be anything more than a dumbass. Well, so I mean, that's why we the use power immaturity. In that situation. She's got the power in that situation. Well, immaturity gives it the potential of maybe he'll change, but she doesn't need to stick around and wait and find out. No, I mean, you know, I just don't. I don't understand that. I don't. It's like weird. Understand what? That, that, that well, I mean, if he's gonna start doing that, then you know what else? Hey guys. Let's get together and talk about my sex life. Why would you do that? Like, really? Well, guys do that all the time, don't they? The only thing that you should be talking about if you have if you have a sex life is if you don't have one <laughs> with your friends. Because you, you ask them, you know, am I doing something wrong or something like that? You know, dude, dude, yeah, like she jumps off the bed like she's playing wrestling. And you, know, well, you don't need to be telling your friends that stuff. I just, that's my opinion. I'm sorry. You don't need, you don't need to talk about that. But that doesn't happen in, like, locker room banter. Uh, it's just something I don't want to talk about. I mean, I could At see all. it happening where if you're if you're in a group of friends and you're talking about stuff, 
but it's just odd in front of her. I, that I don't get. I don't know. And I guess wow. especially details. No, he's a douche, but... If your if your husband or your your boyfriend, if he does something douchey, buy that son of a bitch a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> just get him one and just put it on his bed, <laughs> on his side of the bed, under his pillow, and like whenever he goes to sleep, he's gonna like reach and feel something really <laughs> weird under his pillow, and he's gonna freak out. You can hear some dude screaming in the bedroom, and you're just gonna crack up laughing, and he's gonna stop. Kind of like the the Godfather when they put the horse head. Oh in right! Bed. You'll make him stop. Really? You have his that name. That way he can tell his friends, "Hey, you know what? You know what she did last night? <laughs> I didn't get none, but dude, she put a douchebag under my pillow." <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Is you probably find it very funny, and nothing would change. Yeah, well, no, it, no, he's gonna sound like a stupid ass talking about that. <laughs> See. Then he'll probably take a photo on that's, Facebook and But that's tweet the difference. It. Stupid doesn't change. Next, Immature, next you grow out of it. Next wiener's going to do it. <laughs> Anthony Wiener. Hey, what would wiener do? <laughs> <laughs> that's how we we can judge everything from <laughs> now on. That's a t-shirt waiting to happen. I'm buying that t-shirt. You, what would wiener do? You should just make it. Twitter. <laughs> what would wiener do? There you go. We might, we might make that Facebook page. What would Wiener do? <laughs> WWWD. <laughs> he would just post a picture of his junk and move on. Okay. Let's talk about the Mona Lisa. Okay. What about the Mona Lisa? Well, I just finished watching a video about it. <laughs> and then I... I for years, I, t I heard about all these weird scenarios about the Mona Lisa, right? And one of the weird scenarios was that, like, a hidden meaning of the background of the Mona Lisa was that, apparently, when you look in the background, it's some sort of weird depiction of what somebody claimed the end of the world was supposed to be. And I remember hearing that and I going, you know, why would they paint that? Like, like if that was the case. So... What are your thoughts on that? Well, at first, I'm just, I'm so tired of everyone being so consumed with the end of the damn world. Just live in the now. If the world is going to end, it's going to end. Roll with it. Well, I know a lot of financial planners don't like that, don't like that statement. Well, I, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, I for all the people who completely. are planning for doomsday, and all, have you... There are these people called preppers. Have you heard about these people? They're lunatics. <laughs> I, don't like I, I don't know anything about that. I think this is a TV show. <laughs> oh, I'm no, if it's I'm a TV serious. Show, chances are, I no, don't watch I'm it. serious. This is a um, group of society who are prepping for the end of the world. Oh my God. And they live in like these crazy, you know, like those big storage things that they ship, those shipping containers. That they ship, you know, on overseas and everything. Mm -hmm. They bury them, and then get a doorway into them, and they live there. And then they have all sorts of mounds of food and ammunition and all sorts of crap. I'm sorry, if the world gets to a place where I gotta live in a shipping container buried, where does this happen? <laughs> it's all over. These people are crazy. I'm telling you, Google I, I wanna go Google preppers <laughs> right now. I want to dress up in a gorilla costume and go, <laughs> go, go hang out at the house. Shoot your ass before I you know. even <laughs> hear it. These people are nuts. Well, one of the things that we were talking about the other day was sim similar to this. Like, like <laughs> you know, they, they've had a, a string of people breaking in certain places and stuff like that. Um, what, like home invasions? Yeah, like they, 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 I hear about it every now and then. Like on, I see it online. Like, oh my God, another one! And next thing you know, there's a guy with a security thing that goes, "Hey, we sell security." <laughs> that big string of people that had some break-ins, we sell security too, right behind it. Mm-hmm. Right, because it sounds like kind of like, are you kidding me? 
You know, that's not a that's not a setup. That's what that's the way it kind of looks. Yeah. So you should do your ad like 24 hours after. <laughs> <laughs> that you know, but the reason I'm talking it's about marketing this genius is because. I heard a story recently, locally, that freaked me out. And I think it has something to do with some of the break-ins. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. I wish we had some Jeopardy music right now. <laughs> um, I was sitting at a place, this was probably around Mardi Gras of last year. And this guy started telling me a story that happened to him like a week before. And I was, I didn't know if he was joking or what, like, at first. Uh, uh, he told me that he had to have some sort of surgery. Nothing real major, just a minor. He was at home, which he's, he says, I'm per- hardly ever at home. He says, I got a knock on the door, went to the door, and it was a FedEx box. The FedEx guy didn't stick around. The box was just there, and it was addressed to his address. It wasn't his name. But you know, it went to his address. So was it someone else's he, name? He does. No, I don't. I don't. I don't remember that. I don't. But he opened the box. I guess not thinking not or what. Sure. You know, it happened. Well, he found a bunch of marijuana in the box. Surprise! Like it was filled, he said. And it was like vacuum sealed and all this <laughs> stuff, like so he couldn't smell mm-hmm. it. So he calls the cops. Apparently, his relative was a police officer. Okay. <clears throat> and he kind of freaked him out. You know, like, are you kidding me? Well, if it didn't get freakier, like, ten minutes after this happens, he gets a knock on the door. And he, he pretty much lives predominantly to himself. He doesn't live, like, neighbors next to him or anything like that from what he told me. So, basically what happens is this. They said the guy knocked on his door and said, hey, you got my package? <laughs> the guy goes, you better get off my property before I shoot you. I called the cops, and they're gonna they're on their way. Well, the guy freaks out. He backs up a little bit, doesn't say anything, and the, the, there's a U-Haul truck in the guy's front yard where the guy was driving. Right. The, wait, the guy said, who came up to his house was driving a U-Haul truck? He was in a moving truck. Okay. Now, <laughs> if it doesn't get any weirder, he said the guy went to the back of the truck, lifted the door, got something out of the back of the door, got back in the U-Haul truck, and then hit it the gas, I guess, disturbingly, freaked out, because he didn't know what to do, and then got stuck in his front yard. <laughs> This is, this is a pretty interesting story. And, and I said, well, what did he do next? He says, well, he got out of the truck and he started running through the field across the street. <laughs> and he just left the truck there? Right. Well, to keep in mind, the cops still aren't there. <laughs> Where does All he live if the cops haven't shown up yet? I can't I can't say that. I mean, is he out in the country? Yes. Okay. And it's in Acadiana. Oh, okay. Acadiana. It's local. Now... He calls the cops back. He says, y'all need to get over here. This Some guy just came to my house, asked me if I opened his package. If, he said, that package is mine. And he got, it shows up in a movie, tells him the cops the story, so they're on their way, right? And he, he says he called his family member and said, you know, this is weird. He says, like, I, 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 if something bad, if the guy comes back, it's not going to be good. So this guy hightails it. Probably in a, in a sugar cane mm-hmm. field. Cops finally get there, and next thing you know, they, they you know, they really, they, I guess they make a report, and and they really didn't do much, from what I understand. You know, he said the guy ran across the field, and I guess you know they didn't feel it was a, a necessary tactic to go and find the guy. <laughs> I don't think they did. I really, I really don't think they found the guy. I don't, because like. That, you know, he, this guy would have told me for sure. I'm, I'm sure that was like the weirdest day of his life. Well, I'm sure. Can't they, one if of they them. figured out who rented the U-Haul, they found him. I know, but this is the thing, right? Mm-hmm. Why a moving truck? I mean, okay, if you live in the middle of nowhere, and somebody ships something to your home, and they, they, they were going to try to ship something illegal to your house, 
why in the hell would you show up in a moving truck if you weren't trying to steal something? Because if you're not at home and nobody's there and you don't have a whole bunch of neighbors around mm-hmm. that could try to tell somebody, hey, get the hell out of here. So he would take his FedEx package and a, and a well, few TVs. He'd take his FedEx package, see nobody's <laughs> home, and next thing you know, he's, he's filling up his truck yeah. with your stuff. Yep. I think there's some sort of connection to a lot of the break-ins that have been taking place in Lafayette and Jennings and all these other places. Because, I mean, that can happen. I mean, it kind of makes sense, mm-hmm. right? Nobody's going to think to pull over a U-Haul truck to find your stolen crap. Right. And, you know, if it just so happens he thinks nobody's home and he does steal your stuff and somebody is home, that's not a good situation for mm-hmm. them. You know, I've heard a couple of stories about elderly people getting, you know, like in pretty deep trouble at home, and they live, you know, in the middle of kind of a, in the middle of nowhere. And it made me think about these this situation. Well, see, so you sh- moral of the story is don't live in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm saying you might want to shoot a son of a bitch if they come to your house. <laughs> Well, that too, if you're home. Like, but the really, other thing like, too is you know, lock I mean, your I'm doors. I'm not saying shoot people, but honestly, like you need to be careful. But I know that. plenty like, of people who live out in the country who think that you know because they're out in the country, they just don't have to lock anything. No, you're and that's right. not true. You're right, and I think that they're they're setting themselves up for. for I, I just think people are, are are targeting the country. Yeah. To do mm-hmm. this because it's easier to get their package or or whatever. That's just what I think, and I I think that. Hey, I mean, hey, look, it's a 60-inch TV. Yeah. I think that might be a good idea, you know, and a U-Haul truck. Because let me tell you, it's pretty easy to get a U-Haul truck these days. Yeah, I guess so. It is. Like, I, I got one the other day when I had mm-hmm. to move. I walked in. I, took, I handed her my license. I, no, I don't even think I gave her well, my license. Well, you have to I give them I, your license. I don't think yes, I you do. No, I think I gave them my no, credit card, and that was it. You have to give them your license. You're driving a truck. I'm with you. I'm, no, I'm and every state. time I've ever rented one, the they only thing asked they asked for your me was if I, I wanted the extra insurance. That's all they pr- I, they pretty much asked me. Kevin, they asked you for your license. You just don't remember. All right. <laughs> I'm serious. All right. I don't think it is. <laughs> they have to. <laughs> okay. If you have an opinion about this story, <laughs> I would love to hear about it. Seriously, because you know we got a lot of people in in the U.S. to smoke a lot of this marijuana stuff. and Which you know, is why it should be legal. I'm dying to know, have you, are you somebody that's actually shipped marijuana to somebody's house in the country <laughs> and showed up at a U-Haul truck? <laughs> oh, no. Knocking on the dude's <laughs> door going, hey, that's my package? No one's going to claim Louisiana, that. I, I'm, I'm curious. They might be high enough to do it. <laughs> Just be sure to plead the fifth while you're, while you're doing it. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> Honestly, like, like that just freaks me out. Like, I'm like, wow, that's some balls on this guy. He's got some swamp nuts. <laughs> He's got swamp nuts. I hear marijuana cures swamp nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> I hear mar- I hear marijuana is a cure for everything, <laughs> which is clearly not true. <laughs> I think I know what the cure for everything hmm. is. I can't say it on the air. <laughs> Why? But it does deal with water. What? What can you not say on the air that has to deal with water? I don't want them to take it off the market. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not saying it. Not because I'll get in trouble. I don't. I don't. I want. I'm trying to buy up as much of it as possible. What? Oh my god. When I, when that I is the most it annoying thing. Real, when I test it and find out it's real, we'll go from there. <laughs> then I'll go. Hey, guess what we have in the studio? <laughs> we have the cure for this. And then everybody's going to go, you kidding me? That's interesting. I wind up being very popular then. Ha, 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 ha. No. Could you imagine? Speaking of a cure-all. We have, we have the cure for toe, toe, toe fungus <laughs> in here today. Cure for toe, cure for toe fungus. What, how long, how, where have you been? Okay, well, I don't know the cure well, for toe fungus. Well, but I found uh, a great new beer in Austin. We're going to talk about the fungus today. <laughs> You know, that, uh, wouldn't it be funny to speak and come up with a voice for toe no. fungus? 
Okay, it's just as disturbing as that ad it. for Toe Fungus when that little toe is, <laughs> they make a cartoon out of him. That ad makes me want to throw up. Have you seen that? I don't want to see it. <laughs> That's right. But I did hear the new uh, commercial for Scandals today. Oh, my God. I love it. That made me laugh. You want to play it? I don't know if we it? can. I don't know if we can either, but if you didn't hear it, go to 94.5 and listen to it. Yeah, KSMB is playing a new ad, and Tawana is the star of the ad. Tawana made a commercial for and Scandals. Go it is hilarious. It. That's all I can well, say. I I will call KSMB and if if I can post it, I'll post it on the Death Interesting page. Okay. And you can hear it there. It is hysterical. I loved it. <laughs> I wish it's hysterical. I wish we could play it now. It gave me a good laugh <clears throat> this morning. So So Rachel, what was this beer you would Oh, the drinking? beer I was drinking was Fireman's Four. Have you heard of this? <laughs> now, originally... No. It sounds like a bunch of firemen playing golf. Okay, no. Originally, I bought the beer because I have a thing for firemen. I just wanted to buy it. Oh but it was actually really good. I have a thing for I firemen. I do. I always have. <laughs> I also have a thing for beer. <laughs> That's what the marketing people were thinking. And, and it worked because I bought it. Oh, my God. When I drink this, I think about firemen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not I really. I think about four firemen at that <laughs> standing over me while I'm drinking beer <laughs> and tanning on the beach. <laughs> okay, it wasn't quite that long of a thought process. Women. I just bought it. But it was Maybe very ladies, good. Really? I thought it was better. Next thing you know, they're going to come out with Chippendales 2. And I'm sure they'd <laughs> buy that too. I'm sure they would. So speaking of ads... Mm -hmm. What's this Kool-Aid thing that you're having trouble with? <laughs> I'm having trouble with it. <laughs> I think it's the greatest thing ever created. What is it? I, I love the Kool-Aid Man. I've always thought the Kool-Aid Man was just cool. And I, I think Kool-Aid Man should be like in a part of everything. <clears throat> like when they, when they busted Wiener, <laughs> Kool-Aid Man should have jumped through the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and poured Kool-Aid over his head. Well, no, it just... I just think it was the coolest thing ever. I mean, who didn't want the Kool-Aid man jumping out of their wall? <laughs> you know, but I, I remember one time I even thought to myself, like, you know, the Kool-Aid man, he jumped through the wall in, like, the wrong house. <laughs> and someone was up beating his ass. And he'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 no. no. <laughs> I don't think so. He started beating his ass. I've always thought about that and thought it was, you know, imagine what that would be like. That would be fun. So is the Kool-Aid Man in an ad or something or in a video? Well, well Kool-Aid Man, Kool Man is an app. It's an app? It's called, Kool it's called Kool-Aid Man. Okay. And you could take any photo that you take on your phone and stick the Kool-Aid Man <laughs> in it and put him in different situations. Oh, no. So I was at Scandals, like, I think Saturday night for a sec, and then... I, I took a photo of the stupid Robin Thicke video, mm -hmm. and they were dancing, Yeah, and like I had it on my phone. <laughs> oh, so you put the Kool-Aid man in the picture with Robin Thicke. I put Thicke. the Kool-Aid man in the photo dance circle, and he's got his hands over his eyes so he doesn't look up the lady's skirts. <laughs> nice. But he's he wanted to be part of the action, too. So I see. He's in, he's in the photo. I see. I didn't realize it was an app. It oh, that's pretty cool. And, and you, you could put the Kool-Aid man with your kids. You could put him with all kind of stuff and just publish him all over. I love it. And I mean, like, really. That would be like putting Tawana <laughs> on an app. And you could put Tawana in the photo. You know? Yeah. That might be a good idea. <laughs> Not really, because Tawana's really a dude. <laughs> but... <laughs> It's a secret. Oh, it's a secret? <laughs> Not anymore. Is that really a secret? Is it really, is it really I would a think secret? so, but if you can't figure it out. I don't think that's a secret. I don't see how that helps. <laughs> if you can't figure that out just by listening to her, I don't know. Well, some people, I'm sure they can't. You never know. So you just blew yeah. it for all those. I didn't blow anything. <laughs> you just 
blew up for all those trying people. To, dude, just this wiener thing. You need to stop. <laughs> you brought, you brought I didn't. I did focus. not go there with. You take him out. <laughs> Get him out of here. I don't know who Anthony Weiner is, but you know now. You started a riot. Started a riot. <laughs> you know now. I don't get it. I still don't get it. The Anthony Weiner story. That that would be on a VH1 very soon. Where are they now? A man goes to work one special day. He sees his interns, <laughs> Peggy and Tammy. <laughs> he gets aroused. With Viagra, goes to the bathroom, <laughs> thinks about things, thinks about sexual things, and out of nowhere, his <laughs> phone appears. Tells him to post something to Twitter. That's the story he gave his wife. And I'm sure it's because of the spirits through the phones hold him. You need to post your penis <laughs> all over the internet. <laughs> because someone used to make fun of him when he was a kid. Because the bullies, <laughs> the bullies will not be in control at that point. Please. Look at me now, bullies. Weeble wobble. <laughs> Post your weeble wobble on the internet. That's what the that's what the voices were telling. <laughs> that's what the voices were telling you. Yeah. And he did it. And next thing you know, his intern said. He's not that great of a boss. <laughs> I'm taking this to the media. And every day, uh, could you imagine being that secretary? Like all, all the damage and the mentally damage that she she got from dreaming every night. Hi, thank you for calling Mr. Weiner's office. Thank you for calling Mr. Weiner's office. Thank you for calling Mr. Weiner's office every uh-huh. day, every, every day. day, every day. Could no. you imagine? Thank you for calling Mr. Weiner's office. Wow. And there you have it. What do you do for a living? I'm Anthony Weiner's secretary. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what everyone says after that. I'm I'm really sorry. I am Anthony Weiner's secretary. We all make choices. Hi, this is Dateline. We would like to have a conversation <laughs> with Anthony Weiner's secretary. I'm sorry, she's unavailable. She's on the Twitter. Now she's working for the Clinton administration. <laughs> Rolling cigars. Oh Lord! That's a new job. Wrapping cigars at the Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> you know that would be a hit. Where Cubans are legal. No, Clinton cigars. That would be a hit. It would. I'm it would sure they're hit. out there. There's no way that there's no Clinton cigars out there. I'm telling you, there's not. There's got to be. I've never seen Clinton. Have cigars. you ever looked it up? I mean, I, I take photos of them every now and then. <laughs> Have you ever looked it up? I've never looked it up. I've never it's looked be it out up. There. I could, if I see Bill Clinton on a cigar, I'm buying a box. Obama's on a condom. Bill Clinton's got to be on a cigar. Obama's really yeah. on a condom? Well, how, did that well, how did that shit happen? <laughs> it happened. I kid you not. Wait, did, I will wait. I will find it. I'll post it on the page. You're in the condom business. So I you do know, know this. this. Like, how did this happen? I don't, I don't know how it happened. Are they. So what is it? Like his face is on yes. a condom. Is it like on the actual condom? No, it's on the package. The wrapper. What's it called? I think they're called Obama condoms. Let me. <laughs> I'll find it. Are you fucking kidding? I'm gonna. I'll post it on the on the page. The Obama condoms. That's true. Creating the Obama nation. Here, look. <laughs> Obama condoms, they have about 7,800 likes. Oh, you're crazy. Um, I'm crazy you're real. Cra- what's their tagline? Is there a tagline, anything? Uh, let me see. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> is that what the tagline is? <laughs> <laughs> see, like, here's another one that they do. It's a company that does all I'm sorts sorry. of things. Oh, here you go. Here's a Lincoln one. Oh my it says, God! President. It says, condoms. "Protect your head." <laughs> what is the Obama one? Okay, thing? wait. I gotta find it. <laughs> Stinking with Lincoln. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God! Oh, this is crazy. When they have, when they have. Oh look, they even have crazy. one for Wiener. Oh no! Oh, Protect no. your Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
one of the Obama ones is the ultimate stimulus package. Oh, here they even have one for the oil industry. Drill without the spill. Okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come I'm serious. On, you know, that would be a good condom. Hmm. Come on, dude. <laughs> hey, take that and put that in the page if you can. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I mean, po political condoms? Like, really? Yep. What's wrong with these people? It's funny. It's funny, but really, do you really want to talk about the president before you have sex? <laughs> Here's some. Here's a John McCain one. It says old but not expired. <laughs> oh my god! Hilarious. That's good stuff. I'm not. A, I'm not only a promoter of this, but I'm a promoter of safe sex in the White House. Well, you know. I just. I don't. I don't believe in any presidents anymore. I'm sorry. I think Andrew Jackson went in the last one. I, I was like, that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. And I wasn't even alive. And I, I mean, he's done some pretty rough shit, too. I've heard some really weird shit about him. Okay, here we go. I'm posting it on the page now so you can head over to the Dad's what? interesting page and check it out. You want to hear something yeah. funny? Somebody just posted on Facebook. It says, oh, you know I love this Lamborghini. And it's a Ferrari. And underneath, somebody put Ferrari. <laughs> 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 That's funny. That's funny. That is funny. Okay, okay, okay. so the post is on there. Okay. And that's... And I, I feel bad for these people. These politicians that get elected... And they don't really have to do shit. And all they do is go vote on stuff. And some of them even freak that even freaks them out. I know they don't even show up for that. You know, like honestly, why vote? You know, I can't believe why I'm vote because I vote for everything. No, you I need vote to vote. You still need to vote. No, I know. And and the reason why vote is because like if you don't, you, then really you really get screwed up yeah. in the office. But <laughs> You get I what mean, you vote just, for. It just came out because it's kind of like everything you hear about poli politics and everything. You oh, I know. It makes you want to throw your arms up and just Are go, any whatever. Are them really worth the shit? <laughs> like, why do we even have that? Why do, why do these people, why do we even have a group of people that, that tell us what to do and play God all the time when really they don't know shit? Mm -hmm. And they don't really do anything. Waste money. Yep. I agree. That's just my, my honest opinion about it. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest problem that we have, like, the, you know, I was watching somebody get hammered the other day because they were heckling Obama. You know, he needs to get heckled. Well, of course. I mean, that's the, the foundation of I mean, what we... Like, if somebody asks you a strong question and you can't answer it, that's called heckling? Yeah. I mean, really. I mean, it don't matter what color you are or what you do. If you, if you are, uh, are running a country... No, you should be questioned constantly. You, you know, you need to be questioned about a whole bunch mm -hmm. of stuff. I think you should stay on debate the whole damn year instead of, like, two days. And then you have the media, like, you know, kind of talk you through what someone's going to say. And then the strong debater doesn't get to go on TV because he's going to hammer your ass and actually sound mm -hmm. smart. You know, I, I just don't get that. I think that... I, I just, I don't understand that. And I, it's hard for me to believe that the people in, that live in this world don't see that. It's just hard for me to see Well, that. I think some people do, but, you know, we, the IQ level, so the IQ people, level of this nation and the know, world I, really in general I, has I, dropped I, dramatically. I'm going to tell you something that I heard at a voter, a, a voter say this. I actually heard a voter hmm. say this. About four years ago, I was standing at a, a at a ballot thing voting, and if that sounds education ed, ed, educated, I'm so, uh, if it doesn't sound educated enough for you, I'm sorry. A voting, thing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it, this is kind of what happened. The guy standing there, and I don't know what came over him. I guess he just felt like he had to say mm -hmm. something. 
He says, well, I'm going to vote for this person because they sound smart. Okay. And I mean, clearly they have more money than me, so they must be smarter than me. That, that's what the guy said. I just, I was like, man, how many other people feel like that? If you you would be shocked at what people actually vote for. I like the way the guy looks. I want to vote like, for a woman instead I, of a man. I, I mean, I'm I mean, just voting just down party lines. I mean, it's no one does any At kind of homework. If you look like you have money, somebody will vote well, for you. Well, that's easy enough since... Could well, you imagine? That's like 60% of probably every state. No, but that's the government in general. They, they're they all in the top, what, 5% of income? I just think that's crazy. And it's our income. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, that, that that just seems like crazy to me. But I guess it's easy for some people that realize that hey, I could I can make a minimum of two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year and run for office. Yeah, but and the only thing I have to do is go go visit every VFW hall. Yeah, but you town. know what? Their that two hundred fifty grand that they make per year is pittance compared to their own money. I agree. Well, I agree. But that's the point. Is that no one's no one's getting these jobs because of the awesome salary they're getting the jobs because of the power that it gives them and then and the access that it gives them to other corporations and and right. money there that's where the money is it's not that <laughs> the little salary that they get for showing up to vote maybe no i i, I know that i just sometimes it makes you tired it does <laughs> it does you know when you when you get on you, you get home and the media is like, hey, Anthony Weiner posted a penis photo to Twitter. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, awesome. that to me is just comedy. So did Jim Bob <laughs> down the corner, down the mm -hmm. street. You know, uh, so, you know, what makes Weiner any different than that guy? Nothing. Nothing. Except that he's a public Thanks. figure in more ways than right. one. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. <sighs> Public figure. <laughs> Brings a whole new meaning to that term. <laughs> oh, wow. So oh, with wow. that. You know, what if we had a name like that? Anthony Weiner? Yeah. You'd be doomed to post in your junk, too. You think? You think? How can you not, really? At some, I don't at some think point. so. Like I, you know, I think about that all the time. Like you know, some of the guys that have the craziest mm -hmm. names, they're the nicest people ever. They are. Like, Do you think they were humbled by their name growing up? I, I think that they just one day they got up and they said, you know what, that's my name, <laughs> and I got to deal with it. Have to deal with it because people are gonna make fun of me all my life, and and you know what, they they just live humble like that. But it's really like, like. Uh, Judy Cockhead. <laughs> okay, like you, you meet Judy Cockhead, she's the sweetest woman mm -hmm. ever. It's kind of like a if you have a, a name where you just could possibly get made fun of on a regular basis. You know, walking across the stage at high school if you be gra if you graduate. You know, <laughs> Valley Dictorian yeah. Judy yeah. Cockhead. Could you imagine no. that? Do you know the people that are gonna laugh in the crowd of that shit? John Smith. Validate, right. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and I think maybe it, it could be a good learning experience to have a, a horrible mm -hmm. name. But, you know, tweeting your stuff, that's what we learned. That's what we learned. Not a good idea. Yep. Because it could be retweeted, and then you have a hashtag. <laughs> to your public your, figure. <laughs> yeah. And, to, and First of all, let me ask you something, really. Why, what's with the hashtag? It's just how you look up conversations. How do you look up conversations? With a on hashtag? Twitter? I mean, I understand this. No, on on Twitter because there's like, so many the users and so many things this. going on. You have to hashtag know, a subject, and then all the tweets, even from people who you're not following or friends with, come up. I know, but why do the people do this all the time? Well, because on now Facebook it's now it's just kind of funny. It's just kind of a notation. I I know, but it don't work. They no. think it works. 
you know, it'll work if it goes through your Facebook page and then it's linked to Twitter. But you know what? Like when people put something about their kid, cool dude. And I, I mean, like nobody. No, but no, but they're not expecting them to. It's just like a silly notation. I see it all yeah. the time. The only thing a hashtag is used for is it'll if four of them at the base of your document when you do a press <laughs> release. That's apparently the only way that they'll publish it. Other than that, I don't see a need for it in this world. Other than putting a number sign in front of something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's no need for a Kool-Aid Man app either. It's just fun. No, Kool-Aid Man app's cool. I don't care what you say. I'd vote. I would vote for political office for the Kool-Aid Man. Let's put him in. We don't even need to know who he's dressed up as Kool-Aid Man. It could let's be put anything. him on. Let's, it could be let's put him on the ballot from another planet. The Kool-Aid Man. 24 hours a day. Let's put him on the ballot next time that, around. Cabinet meeting. Could you imagine that's And then you have meeting? to go to every meeting as the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't ever get out. Of the I know, because they can't really be know who who is the Kool Aid Man. I want someone see actually that. voted in. Every dude would vote oh yes for everything. <laughs> no, they'd actually ha- they would actually do something in there. That's what I, that would be everything great. He, everything that would come up, he'd say, "Oh yeah." <laughs> no, he'd have to yell it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I would much rather see that. I would much rather have money that came from me <laughs> go to a situation like that, just so we could be a little bit better at laughing in this country. I, I I'm not joking. I would. It's worth the vote. It is. Let's Kool-Aid do it. Man. How much could it? How much could it possibly be to get him put on the ballot? Well, how, how worse could it be than Wiener? I think Kool Aid Man should have Wiener's job. Because <laughs> what would he post on Twitter? He's got how no cool job to post be? on Twitter, so we don't have that problem <laughs> o- automatically. No, all he does is post <laughs> different flavors of Kool Aid. <laughs> That's all he's gonna do. If he goes to Grape, I mean, I'm sure he's got some pretty good advice too. Like. How imagine? to bust through a brick wall? One day when we were making chocolate berry <laughs> thin, <laughs> this problem came up. Let's tell you. Let's talk about how we handled that. This guy's probably got better advice than any of the politicians mm-hmm. in office. Could you imagine coming up with the name Sharkleberry Fan? <laughs> how does someone do that? But if if Kool Aid Man got Wiener's position. <laughs> I want to come and invite and do an interview with Kool Aid Man <laughs> in his desk. I want it. I want that option. I want to do that. And then I want to. I want to call his office and go. I want to hear the secretary's happiness when she goes, Kool Aid Man. How can I help you? Kool Aid Man's office. <laughs> that just sounds better than Anthony Weiner to me. Well, at this point, anything sounds better than Anthony Weiner. The guy's a douche. Apparently not to his wife. His wife. Is his, so no, his strong. wife is hanging in there because he's running for mayor oh, of New on. York. He's running for mayor yep. of New York. Yep. Come on. And he'll probably, and he'll probably get it because everybody, everybody loves a douche. Text their freaking stuff all the time. <laughs> it's, true. You know it's true. You know everybody in New York's doing it. You know sure. That, right? I'm serious. Twi- they probably w- there, there's an app apparently that somebody was telling me about that if you take a photo, if you, send it to you send it to somebody. The first time they look at it, the second time they can't ever open the photo up again. What? It's called a. Uh, I'm serious. That's baloney. No, it's true. And where does it go? It, um, it apparently goes online. Yeah. In through this app, and when you send a photo, they can see it only one time. And when they see it that one time, they can never see that it again. that person. But where it, does it go? It apparently deletes it. Nothing's ever deleted. I I'm cry BS I, I, on that. I, 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 and I I made the comment. I said whoever developed this will have the photo. He's gonna write a book in two years. And he's gonna publish <laughs> exactly. All the Everybody's gonna go on WikiLeaks. <laughs> to hide. <laughs> You're gonna have every politician in the world. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna publish a book called Politician <laughs> Junk. <laughs> oh my God. Can I tell you how I would not ever buy that? <laughs> could, uh, uh, could you, could I tell you how that would probably be a bestseller in this country? Probably in New York? <laughs> Politician joke. 
from the makers of this app that everybody seems to use, <laughs> to, use to send their junk. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's just sad that there's even an app for that. There's an app for everything. <laughs> if you want to send Rachel, your junk, here's an app for you. The, welcome uh, to America. Rachel. Welcome. I know. I'm going to Zamunda. <laughs> And find Akeem. And we're going to hang out because, like, really. <laughs> a lot of scientists had to. So. Have a good day, Rach. You too. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> I will. I will have a good day. I promise. Well, we'll see you next week. See you next week. <laughs> Bye.